Hello everyone, my name is Katsuki and in this video I will show you how to set up your scenes efficiently and show you what a good scene looks like. What does a scene consist of? What sources do you need inside a scene and, and how to set them up properly? So to start off, we're gonna go to settings, of course, and you know, log into Twitch or YouTube or whatever service that you use. And then the first thing you got to do is go to video and I usually recommend using 720, 720p. If you don't have a really good computer, usually if you use 1080p, it'll be really heavy. So I do recommend using 720. And then this is important. And you go to audio, you know, use whatever sample rate that you want to use. Either one's fine. Uh, this is important, but disable all of the audio devices here. So I have a bunch and just disable everything. And we're not going to talk about, you know, outputs and streaming for now, but we're going to talk just about scenes and setting them up. So disable all the audio stuff and then click OK. So we're going to set up our first scene. This is going to be uh, just a starting scene, you know. So I'll name it starting and then the first thing we got to do is, you know, if, if you have like art or, you know, backgrounds, graphics or whatever, you can just uh, go to your folder and then drag them in it's like so it'll automatically put itself there and you can just lock it because you don't want it to move. So let's just say this is my starting screen. There's really nothing much to it, but this is my starting screen and you also want maybe like a background music so let's just drag that one in too and then you, you can see you know directly that the background music is here and the reason why we do this is because look in 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 the audio mixer there's only the background music your mic is not here you don't need to you know mute your mic or do any manual stuff your mic's just not here in the waiting screen so this eliminates the problem of, you know, having to mute your mic when you're not ready. Not only is your mic muted, but you also don't hear anything on your desktop. So you can just talk to people on Discord or something and it'll be fine. So this is going to be your starting screen. And now we're going to move on to making your webcam scene. So I'm going to just name it webcam. And of course, I'm using a... Uh, VTube Studio, so VTube Studio, then capture specific window, VTube Studio, hey, that's me. Then allow transparency, this is important. You, you see the difference there? Allow transparency. Okay, now I'm, I'm in here. And then you have to add your audio, your mic. So audio input capture on your webcam scene. So I'm just going to name this mic and use whatever mic you have. I'm using the, uh, my mixer here. So, okay. Now we have a scene that contains both our webcam and our mic. And that will streamline things a little bit because now, every time you, you show up on screen, your mic also shows up. All right, so the reason why we do this is so we we can control our audio better. So this one, my mic's not here, only my BGM is here. I'm using the Risk of Frame soundtrack because I, I don't really use a BGM. I'm just showing you this for, for the tutorial. And then on this scene, it is only our mic. The BGM is not here. And so what do we do next? We make another scene. This is the one we're going to use for gaming. So I'm just going to use game. And then obviously add game capture. Game cap. Okay, I shouldn't know. Okay. Usually I use uh, hotkeys, but we're not going to do that. So capture any full screen application and then just okay. And then what, what I usually do, I right click and then transform fit to screen. 
it'll automatically fit your game into the screen and then lock it. So the next step is to add audio output capture. This is what your computer sounds like. So let's just name it, you know, audio output capture is fine. Okay. And then use whatever device that you use for listening to your computer. So mine is my mixer Then okay. So now you can see here, this is our Windows sound. So if I go to Windows and I play a sound, it reacts to it. Now, we need to put our webcam here. So add scene, you can actually nest some scenes. So you can add a scene into a scene. So I'm adding my webcam into this scene. Hey, that's me again. And then just put it anywhere you like. And you can see here on the mixer, my mic is there and my audio capture, my desktop is still there too. So now we have both. If I disable webcam, the mic will disappear. Boom. So yeah, if you need like a quick be right back kind of thing, you can just go disable that thing or just you know mute it as usual. But now we can better control uh, what is on our scenes. So I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Uh, it's really quick and simple. This is just showing how I set up my scenes. So we have our starting scene, which has the BGM, our background, and nothing else. We have our webcam scene, which this is kind of a back end kind of thing. I don't actually use this. This is just something I set up to put into another scene like this one. But yeah, that is the tutorial and thank you for watching. If you like it, you know, you know the drill, you know, like and subscribe and share and whatever. If you don't, then you know, you don't. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. Okay.